Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at how to connect your LG Think smart washer and dryer to Home Assistant. If you haven't heard about our giveaway yet for Amazon Fire tablets, as well as a wall mount, make sure that you stay tuned till the end of the video so that you can find out how to enter. All right, so we're gonna start by going to HACS, click on integrations, then click explore, then type LG, then click the smart thing LG sensors, then click download, download that, then we're going to go over to settings, devices and services, click add integration, and type LG. And click the smart think lg sensors now this is very important if you signed up with the app using the social media account this will not work you have to have signed up with your email address if you use the social media account go and remove your appliances from your account and then create a new account using just your email and then add them back in go ahead and enter your email address password country code language code and then go ahead and click submit you can add your washer and dryer to zones if you want otherwise just click finish then we need to go over to GitHub and download some files. The link for that will be in the description, but click code and then download zip. Then we need to unzip that file. Then we'll go back over to Home Assistant and we need to go over to settings, add-ons, and we're going to add Samba so that you can copy those files on there. So in the add-on store, click Samba, click Samba Share, Install that. And once that install is finished, you can go over to the configuration and set a username and password that you'll use to access your Home Assistant server to copy files to. Click Save. Then back on the Info tab, we'll go ahead and start that service. And open Windows Explorer and in the bar at the top we're going to type slash slash then the IP address of your home assistant server and then go ahead and log in with the credentials that you set on the Samba share and then open the config folder and if you don't have a www directory we'll go ahead and create that And once you've got that created, on the files we downloaded, we'll copy everything from config www into your config www folder on your Home Assistant server. And then in the files that we downloaded, we need to copy the entire contents of the configuration.yaml file. And we need to paste that into the configuration.yaml file on your Home Assistant server. Here we're using Studio Code Server. You can use whatever you like. Uh, we previously installed Studio Code Server in, in an earlier video. Now we need to go through and correct all the spacing. And once we've got all that spacing corrected, now we're gonna remove the sections that we don't need because they're appliances we don't have. So the mini washer and the dishwasher in this case, we're gonna remove because we're only setting up a washer and dryer. So just highlight those sections and delete them. Very important, at the bottom of everything that you copied in is a section that begins with blank colon do not delete that or bad things will happen. Now we'll go ahead and restart Home Assistant. And then on the overview tab, you'll see all the sensors in there. This is because we're using the auto created dashboard. So we'll go ahead up in the corner, click the three dots, say edit dashboard, 
Yes, we want to take control. No, don't start with an empty dashboard. And we're just going to remove all those additional sensors that were created when we copied that stuff into our configuration.yaml. So we'll go ahead and delete that card. We'll edit the switch card because we do have the half bath fan and the half bath light from an earlier episode. Save that. And we'll go ahead and edit the sensor card and remove all those sensors as well. We don't need to look at all that nonsense. We are going to leave the HACS sensor though. So now the dashboard looks like it did, click done. Now up in the upper right, we'll click the three dots and we'll click to edit the dashboard. And we'll click those three dots again and we'll select manage resources. And we'll click add resource. And the URL will be slash local slash seven segment dot CSS. And make sure the radio button for style sheet is selected and then go ahead and click create. And click the arrow up in the corner to go back to dashboards. And then we're going to click the plus sign next to home, create a new tab. And I will name this one laundry. You can name it whatever you like for the icon. I'm going to give it a washing machine. I kind of like that. You can choose whatever icon you want. Click save. And then up in the corner, we'll click add card. And we're going to add a vertical stack card. Then click show code editor. And now back in the files that we downloaded, we need to copy the contents of washer card. So highlight all of that, copy that. And then back in our vertical stack card, we're gonna delete those two lines and then paste in the stuff from our file we downloaded, save that. Then we'll click edit on that card and we'll go ahead and give it a name. So Right after the type picture elements, just hit enter, then put title, colon, and whatever you want to call it. Click save. There we are. And then we'll hit add card, and we're just going to repeat the process for the dryer. So add another vertical stack card. Show code editor. And then copy the contents of dryercard.yaml that we downloaded. And we'll go ahead and paste that in here. And we'll save that. There's our dryer and we'll click edit. And do the same to give it a name, title, colon, and whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it dryer. And there we are. Click done up in the corner. And that's it. We are finished. All right. So how do you enter the contest? We're gonna give stuff away based on the number of subscribers that the channel has. The Fire 7 tablet will be given away when the channel reaches 250 subscribers. When the channel reaches 500 subscribers, we're gonna give away a Fire 10. And at 750 subscribers, we're gonna give away a Fire 10 with a wall mount plate so that you can hang that up in your kitchen or your living room or your bedroom, wherever you want and control your smart house from there. When we reach 1,000 subscribers, there'll be a special prize that'll be given away but you're just gonna have to stay tuned for that one. To enter, you need to be subscribed and you need to comment on a video. When we reach one of those subscriber milestones, the next video that gets made, I'll randomly pick from the comments, announce the winner on that video, they'll contact me and we'll arrange for shipping. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned, I hope you're able to implement what you saw today, and we will see you next time.